Salt Water Mini Pond is coming along so freaking nicely, guys. We have added some extremely cool stuff in the mini pond recently, and it is only getting better and better. Today, I have something extremely special to show you guys, an insane fish that is going to completely be probably my favorite addition so far in the Salt Water Mini Pond. For those who haven't seen, right now I have an awesome Tesselata Mora eel in the mini saltwater pond. I also have this glorified worm here, the, the golden head or golden nugget eel and the ghost eel in my saltwater mini pond. Those are the three eels I have in my pond. Maybe, just maybe, we will get some more. We probably will get more. Now when it comes to fish in the pond, we got our brand new file fish that I caught along the Florida mangroves. That's one of the coolest spots I've been to. The water was awesome. All different kinds of stuff living up in those mangroves. And it was a really fun day out on the water. That's where we got our new file fish for the saltwater pond. And we're gonna name him Picasso. So shout out to TM Official for the name suggestion. We're gonna name my guy the file fish. Picasso. We also have a nice wrasse in there who swims around, darts around like crazy. He's a very, very bright and colorful addition to the pond and he's extremely brave because he tries to steal the food from the eels, surprisingly. We also have a good amount of crabs, shrimp, and I even have a little baby anemone who's thriving in the new pond. Feeding the golden head has gotta be one of the coolest things I've ever watched. Like I called him earlier, guys, he's a glorified worm, and we might just have to change his name to Worm because he's literally a glorified worm. He buries actually in the sand and not in the rocks. It's very, very strange, very, very cool, and when he eats, he pokes his little head out and snatches at that shrimp when I try to get down there. It is a very, it is very cool to watch him eat. And of course, we got Elon Musk, the Tessalata, who's a who is a savage in this pond. He's probably the meanest eel in that pond, and he's the king of that tank. He's the absolute alpha male in there. He swims around like crazy, hunting every piece of shrimp he can find. It doesn't matter if it's in a different eel's mouth. He will rip it out of their mouth and, and swallow it. We had a little bit, uh, we had a couple eel fights in the pond when I just fed them. One with the golden head eel and one with the ghost head eel. They were beefing a little bit, but they get over it. Once I give each of them enough food, they'll get over it and they'll go back to be in chill with each other. The file fish even has some cojones, guys. He is pretty brave. He likes to peck at all the food, no matter if it's in front of an eel's face. He doesn't care at all. All he wants to do is get some of that good stuff. All he wants to do is get that shrimp, and he is very brave. He's, he got bit a couple times by the Tessalata just for trying to get some shrimp, and he better learn soon that he should probably eat once the eels are done eating because he's gonna get bit in the butt and he's gonna be uh, very upset. So we don't wanna ruin the awesome colors on you, Picasso, so tighten up over there, buddy. Now today, guys, I actually went online on OfferUp and I was randomly looking for fish tanks because I kinda wanna get like a 300 gallon tank, like a big saltwater tank. I don't know, I, it was just an idea. If you guys wanna see a 300 gallon in my room, just drop a like on this video. If it gets enough likes, I know you want me to do it, but it was just, a, it was just an idea I had. So I went on OfferUp and searched fish tank and I actually saw one of the coolest fish I've ever seen, ever. And I did not expect it to be on Offer Freaking Up. I mean, I was like, okay. So the super nice guy on Offer Up messaged me back. He said, hey, come get this fish, and I'm about to go pick it up. I'm absolutely stoked. It's an extremely rare fish, an extremely cool fish, and one that I have never had before in any tank or pond. This is a brand new fish, guys. I'm stoked to pick this guy up. Once he's in the tank, he's gonna look so cool, especially when we feed him some live fish. You guys know I love my live feedings. I just love feedings in general. It's the best thing about owning fish, guys. All right, guys, I got my fish from OfferUp, baby. All right, before I unbox this dude, I gotta give a huge shout out to Zach from OfferUp. I mean, this dude was the nicest guy I've probably ever met in Florida in my life. He immediately recognized me, Fish Guy Chris. He was the nicest dude ever. He refused, he, a he actually refused to let me pay for it. So he, he literally gave me this fish. I, I, I'm, I was like blown away. I, I really was like, dude, let me pay you, man. I was actually blown away. I mean, he just literally gave me the fish. I wanted to pay for it, but he said, no, dude, take the fish. So you know what I did? I gave him one of our brand new Fish Guy hats. So now he can be a true Fish Guy and rock that thing like a beast. So uh, he has actually my personal hat. That was the only thing I had on my car and I felt like I had to give him something. It literally has my initials inside the hat. I had to give it to him. So shout out to you, Zach. You are a true fish guy. I appreciate you, buddy. This fish that you gave me is awesome. I cannot wait to show the rest of the other fish guys. Now he is gonna be going in the saltwater pond. I don't think he'll be able to eat anything in here just yet, except maybe the, maybe the small blending we have. He may swallow that guy whole, but all the eels and stuff, he won't mess with the eels because they're too big for him to swallow. But this guy is an absolute savage. Let's unbox him and put him in his new aquarium, baby. I'm stoked. All right, guys, I have him in this bucket here, and to show you his true glory, I'm gonna put him in the OG glass tube because this, this guy is actually insane. Literally, I'm so stoked to have one of these in 
the pond. Just because I, I get excited when I have never seen something before and I, I get it for the first time and this is the first time I've ever had one of these ever. So because he's so cool and he's gonna be a staple on this channel, once again, guys, I love when you name my stuff. Drop a comment down below of what his name is gonna be. Once you see him, you will get a lot of good ideas in your head because he is very, very distinct. He's unlike any other fish I've seen before. So this is literally one of the coolest fish I, I have, I actually own. This is so cool. So check him out right here. This is a sargasm frogfish, bright orange, Got those brown spots to blend in right with the sargassum. As you guys can see, there's seaweed in this bag and you can barely see the fish because he blends perfectly in with the seaweed. And we're probably gonna have to put some in the saltwater pond so he feels comfortable and can hang out with the seaweed. Hopefully he'll go down by the rocks and hang out there, but if he doesn't like that and he really wants the seaweed, we will definitely keep some in the saltwater pond. Let's put him in the glass containers so you guys can see exactly how he looks without the seaweed in your way. And I will say, it is so freaking refreshing meeting other fish guys like you out there, man. I mean, meeting Zach literally made my day. I mean, that guy was a true fish guy. He was literally the nicest dude ever. So if you guys ever see me or uh, my truck or anything, don't feel scared to come up and say what's up. I absolutely love talking to you guys. Let's get this guy in the glass container. I'm actually geeking out like a fish guy right now. This thing is so cool. Holy cow. Oh guys, this thing is sick. Look at him from up top. He looks insane. Those colors are actually nuts. Now we do have two other angler slash frogfish in our OG 125 tank. We have Sponge, the yellow angler who eats like a savage, non-stop eating. I absolutely love him. And we have Patrick, the anglerfish. He's also a savage, loves to eat. Sponge is very outgoing and he will literally hand feed. So hopefully this guy will hand feed just like them. And the coolest part is, we will get to see it from above in the mini saltwater pond. I'm actually stoked to put him in there. And just the way you look at him, the way his, the way he literally looks like a piece of sargasm. He looks like a piece of seaweed, like a, almost like a leaf. He has little leaves coming off of his head, off of his fins. That's in order to blend right into the seaweed. Because when a little shrimp or a little fish swim into that seaweed, he can just smoke them, just snatch them right up. And these guys are probably everywhere here in Florida now because there is so much seaweed here in the summertime. These guys are probably all over the place. All right, I'm gonna move this seaweed so you guys can get a good look at him. Check him out, that is insane, guys. Oh my God, he's so sick. He is so damn cool, dude. I'm I'm literally freaking out, dude. This is a, a native angler fish. Looks like a piece of seaweed. That is so damn cool. I cannot wait to see him eat. We need some epic names for this guy in the comments, dude. Epic names. I'm serious, guys. Do not, do not slack with the names in the comments. This guy needs a literal sick name. So cool to feed. I cannot wait till he gets comfortable in here. Look at him in the bucket against the white background. That is so cool. That's so cool. Let's put him in his brand new home here. Here he is, guys. I literally cannot believe Jack literally just caught one of these and I found this guy on OfferUp. That blows my mind. Look how cool he looks in there, dude. This is the coolest fish I own. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, he's so sick. Thank you, Zach. You are the man, dude, for giving me this guy. Look how cool that thing is. Holy cow, dude, look at him swimming. That's so epic. I'm absolutely stoked that we got this guy. He's so cool. Look at him, he's checking everybody out, checking out the eel. Picasso's checking him out, saying, what the hell are you, bro? Holy cow, that's the coolest thing I have. Now, I am gonna put this seaweed in there, just for now, just to see if he likes it. Oh my God, look at him, he's going right to it. He just swam right up to it, and then, he, and then he's going back down towards the rocks. Oh my God, he's going right to it. He's right in it, look at that. He's right in the seaweed. That's so dope. That's so sick. He's literally chilling in it. Guys, this is really, really cool. He's, he's very active in this tank right now. He's actually swimming around a lot, but until he finds his home, he's gonna swim around. But he will find, eventually find a very nice spot that he will perch up on and just hang out and live his happy angler life in here. It's it's so sick. Me, me and Fish Guy Jack both have matching anglerfish now. We got one in his tank and now one in the saltwater mini pond. That is so cool. He looks amazing in here. Right when he goes up against the light, his colors pop. The yellow and brown actually look really, really good. Very vibrant. And hopefully within the week, we can feed this guy some epic meals. I'm talking some epic meals, baby. I hope you guys really like the new fish. Remember to drop comments down below giving me an awesome name for him. I'm stoked that we have this guy now. This pond is seriously so cool. It's actually epic now. We got some seriously cool fish in here and a lot more to go. So stay tuned. Turn those notification bells on so you never miss a new addition to the mini pond, guys. See you in the next one. Keep being awesome fish, guys.